to make be certain that both sides are even so extend out where the tape rolls over the uh, glass rolls over on the edge you make your mark there same one on the other side one in the middle and then uh, be sure they're even on both sides and then you use a good straight edge to line them all up with. Now we got a straight edge across the transom. We will have to come back and, and, and uh, fare in this seam right in here. Uh, but there's some fancy uh, bling that goes on the back here. We'll get to here in a few more days. Okay, we're going to go ahead and put on our uh, blue tape that we'll cut to. And the edge goes right along the pencil line. side done and just come over overlap it on the other so this will be what we'll cut to let me go ahead and get the other side and we'll start laying out the glass well I got my glass coming out of the box container keep it clean <laughs> I specifically asked them no uh, no masking tape you'll see here in a second why because it rips. So not so much on the bottom me on the bad end here. Man, well, it looks like maybe they ah they've changed their tape. I'm not gonna use that so I'm gonna fold it over so I don't pull it. Sometimes you have to be careful with masking tape that they use because it may leave behind some uh, residue that'll uh, make it difficult to wet out. If not impossible, it'll come back with a bubble and you'll wonder what the heck happened here. Oh. Okay. And let's see if there's any residue left over where that other tape was. Let's see. Okay. Uh, about 12 feet 3 inches from tape to tape and end to end. I'm going to get 4 yards because they don't do partials. So I've got a lot of extra. Let's see how much I think I'm going to try to do now is center of the uh, glass to see how much overlap. I knew I wasn't going to be wide enough come down all the way, but I need now to find out what it is. I mean, the <laughs> camera's in the way, so let me tell you, basically what I'm doing is I'm moving it side to side so I get an even uh, overlap on both sides. I'm back again. I've got my kind of magic. I'm not going to worry about it too much now because uh, I'm, I'm going to pat it out. Things will change as I run out the, uh, the cloth. Now we're going to be doing our initial weavings and uh, I'll come back there's a little separation here I'll show you a little trick on a zoom and just right now we're going to try to leave some of the kinks folds and we'll let this set for a, a day maybe two as we pat it down and let the glass take on a Nice set. This one's working pretty good. I'm not having too many dibbles. Also, one of the other things I'll do after I get this set up, and I know I'm this way, I'll come back with my scissors and trim up some excess. That way, any of the uh, looseness will be absorbed into the edges and and uh, uh, not into the uh, scrap, or at least the scrap's not going to be trying to push back. So. That's basically, I guess, you, you want to see what I'm doing, so this is basically what I'm doing. First, first rub around, and I'll come around and do this a couple times. Just, what we're doing is you got an open weave in here like that, and we're trying to densify it in places and open it up in others. 
and that's what we'll do with this motion. some more width. Hopefully I'll get to check the other side. Okay, so the other side here just be sure your hands are clean too. Just take it over the just roll it over the edge. You can feel these little burbles moving along. If you get too much in one area, you can bring them back the other way and press the leave. And on a bow, we'll switch around the bow here in a second. Let me show you some stern. You're coming down over this, over this kind of hold your hand here and just sweep it down, and it'll mold right over these corners. Ah. I didn't do my airplane trick where you come in and land gently. may not be able to see it. There's a little bit of a, a tear right here and I found that if you just use your fingernail a little bit, do a little bit of a swirling motion. Kind of make them disappear. There. I went and got some new scissors for this part. I'm going to start pulling off excess. I'm centered, so I'm going to stay still stay about an inch below my uh, bottom of my blue tape. Keep kind of a hand on it too to keep it from. Jump around on here. Same with the uh, glass up in the front here. Be careful you're not pulling it. I've got a little stool up here with a long board to hold the uh, main part of the sheet. See, we're having, we'll have some folds in here to have to deal with. So this part will get a little ragged. Okay, now we'll go over and do the other side.